My name is Randy Bigley. Joining me on the podcast right now from Wise Motors in Upper Sandusky, Lawrence Vaughn. Good morning, Lawrence. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Oh, I'm fairly decent. Fairly <laughs> <Good>. decent. <laughs> Enjoying this beautiful high weather. Right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Anticipating the cold. Just hadn't got it you yet. Just hadn't got it. It'll eventually. It's Ohio. It'll get here. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> I know it's coming. Eventually, you're right. That's well, it. we're getting towards Christmas time. Speaking of which, the weather is up. Maybe a, a nice new car would be a great Christmas present. It would be a great Christmas present. Uh, we just finished yeah. up our uh, big Black Friday sale. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now we're coming into our year end closeout, get rid of some of the yeah. old inventory to bring in some of the 23s that we got ordered coming in. It's a good time to buy, isn't it? Because you can, you can actually get a 2022 model for a pretty good price now. Right? Yeah, we, we're getting a little aggressive on them. We've got to make room for the 23s. And mm-hmm. we got some used cars because generally when that happens everybody wants to trade and upgrade get that late year model in sale and then next thing you know we end up with a lot of good good trade-ins a lot of one owner mm-hmm. uh cars that real low miles so yeah. a lot of lease turn-ins we were seeing a lot of that we saw a big uptick in lease turn-ins oh well, did you really okay. yeah i'm talking about cars with 20 you know less than twenty-five thousand miles yeah come in well, all of a sudden. Brand new. Yeah, it is. You know? <laughs> and one brand owner, brand yeah, 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 one yeah. owner, maintenance records are intact, so it's, it's been it's, it's been a good uptick in leasing. I, I guess yeah. with the, you know, everybody fears the, uh, the state of the economy with the interest rates going up. We haven't seen it hit us just yet. We do a lot of business with credit unions, and mm-hmm. they are, they're being real aggressive, which they're not really controlled by the Federal sure. Reserve. They they get to control their own rates. So we're still seeing some of the, you know, three point nine nines, four point nine nines. Which and, is good. Yeah. yeah, which is real good mm-hmm. considering that they keep raising the the rates up. So it's sure. it's been it's been great to have that partnership with the uh, credit unions. For financing you guys work with people a lot, you know, depending on where you sit <laughs> credit wise, you go you work with them, right? Well it, the interesting thing is is that with uh, any type of credit, mm-hmm. basically the credit unions are giving you an opportunity. Now they may start you out with a small ten to fifteen thousand dollar loan, but it's something to get you started, right. something to get you going. We see, you know, a lot of the impact of you know inflation, mm-hmm. layoffs, divorces. A lot of people may take a tumble with their credit, but you know, luckily some some of our lenders. They, they look at it, but they don't hold it to it if there's a story behind it. Sure. You know, yeah. a late payment here and there, well, may have been a layoff. Mm-hmm. Doesn't necessarily mean that that person doesn't pay. So right. we, we, we work with all credit, and I know a lot of people fear that when they come to a car oh, dealership. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that's that thing is <laughs> yeah. we call it the credit monster. You You're know, right. they, yeah. they get nervous. But, you know, I tell everybody that even though the rates are going up, and you, if you're fearful for your credit, it, it's always good to look because not only does the credit unions take uh, things into consideration, circumstances, some of the credit qualifications have changed mm-hmm. as well. Okay. You know, back in, let's say, 2008 when we had that first recession, mm-hmm. a lot of late pays was hurting you more so then, but now the federal government has changed that. They doesn't deem you as hard because circumstances. Mm-hmm, right. And you go look at someone that couldn't work during the pandemic and you miss a payment here or there, you was late pays mm-hmm. here or there. That shouldn't punish you and mean that your credit profile should be damaged permanently. Right. You know, so they they did change a few things here and there. So those kind of things doesn't hurt you as much. And a lot of people don't check their credit once a year like you should. Mm-hmm. They just kind of assume that well I messed up here and there, so I know it's bad. But you'd be surprised that you you know it's not as bad as you may think. Yeah, you always should, you always should keep an eye on your credit anyway. You yes, you should. You you definitely at least once a year just take a look at mm-hmm. it. And not to, to see where you're at, but just to make sure there's no identity theft, right. make sure that, you know, accounts that you did pay off are properly closed, and make sure that if you did miss a payment on something that is accurately reporting, because, you know, we're all human, we can make mistakes, and, yeah. you know, credit credit analysts do have fat fingers, too, you know, right. sure, they, yeah. when they're supposed to hit a one, they may hit a four, yeah. you know, oh, so yeah. Yeah. It, it's good to always just check it once a year, update it, make sure that everything is reported accurately but you know we just encourage everyone you know it if you think it's bad don't 
don't set and put yourself in the mind because you know sometimes jobs change. You know, you may have a higher note, may need the Lord, but you're scared because you think that the credit situation. Don't don't sit there and you know struggle with that. Go ahead and. Come see us and let us see what we can do for you. You may be surprised what you can do for them. Well, I, you know, yeah. you take in consideration, you know, uh, we had some people come in that, you know, situations have changed. and went from, a, due to some unforeseen circumstance, mm -hmm. they went from two incomes to one, mm -hmm. and they were worried about it. And, you know, actually we were able to, you know, save them a, a lot of money and help them out on a month-to-month -month basis. Right. So those things are... Th those things are what what really is 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 fun in the car business is when you really can truly help someone that 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 faces those those trials and those tribulations that's that's when it's fun any new models that you like for 2023 that are coming out anything that catches your eye well um we're eager everybody's anticipating this these electric chargers and mm -hmm. and uh challengers that they are supposedly coming with uh they got a new one the hornet we have a couple of them on order uh they're kind of i guess is going to be in that mustang kind of where they're mm -hmm. redesigning it yeah. and this is also the last year that they're supposedly going to build the charger and the challenger the muscle okay. car they're getting yeah. away from it you know with this this evolution of electric vehicles a lot of Name plates mm -hmm. are going to be taking some huge, huge reconstruction. So it's, it's fun. going to. It's funny you to say the name Hornet because when I was a kid, my dad had an AMC Hornet. Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> yeah. AMC Radio Chrysler body. Uh -huh. I see they recycle the, the little names come out every once you know, every it, few it, years. It is yeah. interesting that they yeah. do that because yeah. uh, they're actually in it. This is the yeah. for years when they came back with the Challenger. Uh huh. And I was in a muscle car. Now. They're finally the last year they're building. They're gonna do a few in convertible. Nice, yeah. yeah. That's a beautiful car. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. I hate yeah. that they're kind of. I'm. Yeah. I'm hoping that they change their mind and continue to build it because the the Challenger is and the Charger is to it. They're they're fun muscle cars and when you it's so much that you can do to those cars oh, yeah. that yeah. that make them look. <laughs> I, I mean, you can do the wide right. bodies and put the bigger tires on the back and I mean it's that's real true American muscle right there. You, know? <laughs> you got it, buddy. <laughs> that's real true American muscle right there. You know one of my, my favorite truck is the Dodge Ram anyways. I know you yeah. guys have the, the new ones are just fantastic and I'm sure the twenty twenty threes are gonna be excellent pretty awesome trucks. Yeah, yeah, they are and I, I, I tell you one thing that impressed me, I've I've always driven, you know, a Ram pickup truck. Mm -hmm. uh, but this was my first undertaking in a diesel Really? Yeah. Half-ton. What do you think? Oh, the gas mileage. Now, don't get me wrong. I yeah. cry at the pump. Yeah. But you go from filling up twice a week to once every nine days. It's, oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. It, it yeah. budgets out, though. You right. know, if I look at putting, even though diesel's $6 a gallon right yeah. now, when I was putting gas in the truck, I, I was paying 80 Mm-hmm. 80, 90 bucks to fill up with gas. Right, sure. But then I was filling up twice a week. So okay. you're looking at about 200 bucks. Now, I fill up once with diesel. It might be 120, 130 bucks. Yeah. But I'm filling up less. Yeah. You know, instead of twice a week, it's, you know, once, you know, twice every two weeks now. Yeah, twice right. every, you know, 16, 17 days. And the amount of driving that I do. So it kind of balances itself out now. And it's... It's fun to look down at your gas gauge and see 600 miles to empty. <laughs> yeah, you feel like you can just drive cross country, you know. <laughs> Gives so, you a little motivation. Instead of 60 miles to empty. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it just doubles, and I'm like, wow. Yeah, right, yeah. But it, it, it is truly, um, the diesel the diesel half tons have, have been very, very, very impressive to me. I, I, yeah. Like I said, every time it's, you know, we, we get that luxury of being able to drive pickup trucks, mm -hmm. but then you stay away from the half-ton diesels because you think, oh, that's a big three-quarter yeah. ton. I'm not hauling. Yeah. But when you come down to that little small turbo engine, it's oh, yeah. 
It's it's fun. Well, I it, bet it is. Yeah, I don't want to drive gas trucks no more. I'm right. I'm a diesel guy now. <laughs> there you, you know? go, man. Yeah. You know? yeah. I've, heard that. I've heard people say that. I mean, once yeah. they switch to diesel, like I'm not going back to gas. Well, I, I've seen it, you know, generally with your, your farmers, your heavy equipment yeah. operators. Right. They do the, the 2500s, the 3500s, the dualies, mm -hmm. and they do it for the, the pulling power, the, the towing yeah. capacity. Sure. And you never think in a small or half-ton truck, a smaller engine, that, like, why would I need diesel? I'm not pulling much. I'm not yeah. hauling much. But then when you're driving, it's like, okay, this is not just about towing, hauling, and working. Mm -hmm. This is about fuel economy. Right. Even though I'm paying almost double, I am getting almost double out of it. So essentially, you're saving money, right, you know. Sure. So, it, and it's fun. They're, they're fun to drive. I mean, now I get to. I was I was used to go to these uh, expos, and I pull up in a little five point seven, <laughs> right, and yeah. you hear all these diesel engines just just growling and guys yeah. pulling up, and I I feel like the little poodle pulling in with all these yeah. big dogs, you know. Right. Now I can pull up to these expos, and I my diesel doesn't growl as loud, but I got a little bark now, so right. sure, so yeah. it's fun pulling up in the parking lot. I feel like I'm one of the guys. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you feel like you fit in there, right? Yeah, I don't I don't have the little girly right. truck no. Right. <laughs> you know, sure, sure. I feel like I'm one of the guys now, so sure. it's fun. I, I got a little, my diesel makes a little noise. So. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> so. Of course, you, you, you guys service everything out there? Too. Yeah, service everything. Yeah, yeah, now's a great time with, you know, I know it's still kind of warm for November, but now would be that perfect time to get that winterization done. Sure. Make sure heater coils and everything are, are good because you do not want to be riding around. No. You know, even though it's warm and we can still ride around and get a nice breeze with the windows down. Right. The snow is coming. <laughs> you know, it's, going yeah, it's going to change. And right. we just hope everybody is ready. But, yeah, we service our makes and models. Uh, just open up our body shop so oh, now nice. we can yeah. do body work. You know, yeah. take your insurance claims, uh, yeah. little fender benders, of course, any deer. That jump that's, out. That's another thing normal yeah. in Ohio. <laughs> yeah, we can take care of that. And we also got in the classics now. We're, yeah. we're servicing the classics. Oh, are you really? Yes, nice. yes, we, awesome. we, we're serving the classics. I have a, uh, we have a 66 Ford Galaxy there now. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, we just redid a uh, 67 Mustang. Uh -huh. It'll be finished nice. up Friday. Yeah, it's yeah. it's gonna be pretty. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice, gonna yeah. be pretty. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we it's gonna be nice when we go showcase that one. Awesome. Yeah, we're proud of that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Lawrence, where are you located at? Uh, we're in um, Upper Sandusky. Um, it's a mile west off of thirty, mm -hmm. uh, one zero four five East Wyandotte in Upper Sandusky. Come on out! I'm sure. Like, is it? Don't let credit scare you away. No, from, please you know. don't. Please don't. You you yeah. would be surprised with the rescoring nowadays. Yeah. That just, now I know you know is everybody is stuck in the old days where, you know, one bad payment, one missed payment, yeah. one this. It's not that. You you have so much leeway now with your credit. You you would be surprised what you can get and what you can do nowadays because I, even though COVID set us back, mm -hmm. it also opened our eyes to a lot of things that, you know, wasn't people fault, you know. Right. Like I say, yeah. slow pays, divorces, credit cards, repossession, They've recalculated and rescored this, and they're giving you so much leeway. And even though the rates are high, like I say, the relationships with the credit unions that we have, you you won't you you're not seeing the high rates. We're not seeing them right now. They, they haven't affected us at all. So it, now is to be a good time. Now, I can't promise that's going to last forever, right? Because right. eventually, you know, everybody is going to catch up and catch on. But right now is a good time. Do you have a website too? Yeah, uh, wisecdjr.com. We have all our hours of operation, all our inventory is up there. Uh, so you're more than welcome to click. We have pre-approval applications. You can schedule service appointments. Uh, so everything's there. Shop online 24-7. Shop online. We even have an AXA Tech feature. So if you, oh, wow. yeah, yeah. If yeah. You, your car's not starting in the row, uh, yeah. if you're having some, you can jump on there and AXA Tech and we'll answer it. That's right. That's nice, yeah. man. Yeah. All right, Lawrence. Well, thank you so much for coming in. And right. Like I said, get out there and get that new car for Christmas. Right? That's it. Now, Santa's <laughs> coming. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's bringing your car. Yeah, he's bringing your car. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you, sir.